Hello everyone, my name is Fotis and I'm going to show you how to make a surround mix with Ableton Live. A lot of people think that since Ableton Live is a stereo software that you can't do surround mixes, but I'm going to show you a neat trick. I'm going to be using an Asus Zonar U7 for this uh, demonstration and uh, it's an uh, external USB sound card with, with true 7.1 outputs. It has stereo RCA from for the front channels and side, center and rear. It's uh, very good, especially if you're on a budget and uh, you're using a laptop. And uh, I don't know if Asus has released an even better model, but this does the job just fine. Now, the weird thing about this tutorial is that since I'm going to be using surround outputs and um, Zonar unfortunately does not have an XLR mic input so I'm going to be using another <laughs> external sound card just to record my voice with uh, an XLR cable so you won't be able to listen to what I'm doing with Ableton because um, the sound for Asus is going to be using more than just the stereo mix. So um, yeah, uh, and I don't have a, a 7.1 speaker system right now. I tried uh, recording the sound from the 7.1 speakers and it sounded awful. I'm guessing I should uh, need another application just to record all of the 7.1 outputs plus my microphone plus uh, and then sync it with the webcam and uh, the Ableton video and mix it down to stereo. I'm sure there's a way to do it so if anyone knows please let me know in the comments okay thank you. Now the good thing is that um, since I'm going to be showing you mainly menus and settings and stuff you won't need to listen to what I'm doing. I, I know it sounds crazy, but trust me. So here I have made a default 404 beat with um, the 808 kick drum, you know, trap and stuff. Um, just imagine there is a booming kick sound, like boom, 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 boom. Okay, now uh, we're going to play around with return buses. So let's get rid of these. We won't be needing them now and uh, let's make four return buses because I'm going to be do making a 7.1 surround mix so you have to think of it as four stereo speakers uh, now let's go to audio and click configure you can see my Asus card here I'm using the ASIO driver and click on Output config, make sure that all of these are turned on, all of these. Um, in order to make this easier for you, let's look at the speakers as pairs. Um, if you're using a 5.1 uh, sound card, you won't be having these two, but the same rules will apply so you don't have to worry about it. These one and two are the front left and right speakers three and four are the center and the subwoofer also known as the low frequency effect channel five and six are the rear and seven and eight are the side so if you're using 5.1 you won't have the sides and now let's rename this so it's easier for us front center plus LFE rear and side now let's choose external out for all of these and then map these to the speaker pair that we discussed earlier then go to the audio channel and select sense only click play and now even if we had sound we wouldn't be hearing anything which is why the sound is blue here we need to send the audio to a return channel so if we do this the audio is coming from the front speakers 
if we do this it's coming from the rear if we do this it will be going to the center the left and the subwoofer the right and the side speakers from now on you will be able to pretty much do anything you want you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this you can uh, add effects to this uh, to any of these returns you can uh, automate these uh, parameters so you can make a sound you know travel from the front and then automate it and make it go to the rear or if you want to be really creative you can make individual returns for any of the 7.1 speakers so yeah you can pretty much do anything you like let's delete this for now and uh, after that you will want to go to export and make four exports or just uh, click uh, all individual tracks and delete the ones you don't need so you will um, end up with uh, four wave files now the question is how do you encode them in surround well the answer is simple and free audacity yay i have an audio experiment here as you can see i have four the four exports the front one this this uh, center and subwoofer as you can see i don't have a uh, much bass activity in the low frequencies the rear and the side before you go exporting this you need to go to edit preferences and make sure that this in import export this is uh, checked out it is checked mm use custom mix for example to export a 5.1 multi-channel file click ok click export i'm going to be using the flac codec um, you can do this with wave as well but um, i like flac and uh, make sure that you're using the same bit depth as uh, the files that you're going to make let's make a test and then you can see that each channel will be exported to the one that you need for the 7.1 matrix. Click OK. And once you have exported it, you can um, listen to it with uh, any good um, media player. I'm using Fullbar 2000 myself. It's very good for this sort of thing. And uh, last but not least, if you want to read about um, music that's encoded in surround, particularly classical music, my good friend John has a blog called Classical Condor. He is using both a stereo and a surround setup, and uh, he's making regular reviews of most classical releases in Blu-ray audio, Super Audio CD, DVD audio. So he has all bases covered and. I have made this <laughs> logo for him and I highly recommend this blog. Thank you for watching and happy surrounds thrilling.